there, number nine. So Ian Smith with the shot on goal, but deflected out. But it looked like a handball on Ian Smith. Nothing called. Now a little extra. Over to Groovy. Groovy to Paris. Tough play centrally there for Coleman O'Neill, but he does well with it. Nice flick. Magoo. Can he find Patiglio? He does. With a shot on goal and just wide. Patiglio. He switched over to that right side. Luke Blades. Trying to find Delalo there at that target forward. Patiglio with a shot on goal off the rotunda. Sort of your forward tandem. Freshman and a sophomore up there. We'll see how that pairing does. Luke Blades centering pass inside. And there was a good chance for rotunda there. Savage battled there. Deflects out. Centering pass. Back to Ian Smith. Ian Smith. Good step-up defensive play there by Brian Magoo, top of the 18. Clemson, though, with it. Sanchez on his right foot. Plays a 1-2. Now to his left foot, and that was a – does so to Givens. Nobody on him. He'll play outside to Malden. Ryan Malden centering pass. Good ball in. <laughs> right there on the head of Brian Magoo. And either way, it's offside Clemson. Davidson now with it. Groovy. Dispossessed there by Klaus. Bad giveaway, top of the 18. Can Savage take advantage? Great save there by Pasifici. Left side of the 18. Malden marks up on him. Good centering pass there. Deflects around inside the box. Givens has to clear it. Bad giveaway to Wes Nelson. Alex makes up for it. Does they call a handball? No, play on says. Excellent pass into there. Clemson now on the tack, shot on goal, and Ian Smith is going to rue the day that he missed that goal. Again, a quick breakout. Box, can it find the head of anybody? Deflected out, great shot there. Second chance by Blades, but Mizell quick to distribute. Klaus, and a good defensive play there by Luke Blades. He has the Shot on goal on Savage for Clemson. Is there a handball? Great save by Pasifici there. And what a shot on goal by T.J. Ruby. His centering pass deflected. Wes Nelson hits it off the back of Amerikany into Alex Givens. Givens with it. Shot! And his crossing pass at the top of the six, Patiglio was there, and he just... Here with Davidson men's soccer head coach Matt Spear following a 0-0 draw with ACC foe Clemson. Uh, coach, you prepared, you know, basically nine months uh, for this big game, a home opener. Uh, solid result against a quality team. Yeah, the preparations have been going on for a long time, nine months, as you said. You know, you, you, you're in a college season, and you got to wait nine months to play a real game again. So I'm really proud of the guys. They had a great spring training. Uh, they worked really hard this summer. They're, they're really cohesive. They came back fit and strong and ready. Uh, our preseason's been awesome. We had three good wins and scored 10, 10 goals over three games. So we were ready. You know, momentum was there. Uh, the synergy was there. The belief was there. Uh, obviously no goals, but uh, Chris Patiglio, despite that, uh, had some op quality opportunities. Uh, played 105 minutes tonight. Uh, talk about his performance tonight. Seemed to be generating a uh, lot of offensive pressure. Yeah, I mean, Chris's confidence is soaring right now. He's had a great spring training and preseason, and uh, he's feeling it. You know, as a forward, uh, you know, most of your ability is built on around your, your, your speed and your talent, but also your confidence, and, and, and Chris is very confident right now. So he goes hard every single play. He was dangerous tonight, didn't get the goal. I'm sure he'll be upset about that, but I'm, overall I'm very, very happy with his development. Uh, then the back line, uh, Matt uh, Pacifici, his first first career college start, uh, gets the shutout, making some big saves. Uh, talk about how uh, he played in the front of the cage tonight. You know, it doesn't surprise me. Matt's a tremendous goalie. He's prepared for many years, and he's finally here in the college game. And uh, he, he's, he's very talented. He's, he's uh, athletic. He's composed. He rose the occasion tonight because there were a few moments where we had some breakdowns where Clemson made some good plays, and he stepped up big for us and kept the shutout. So to get a shutout in his first career start against the ACC team, that's massive. It's also really important for our whole team. We had a good uh, defending uh, rate last year with nine shutouts, and to start this season out with another shutout against a good quality ACC team was really important. Um, it was ambitious for us to, to play ACC team as our home opener, uh, but these guys were up for it. All right, looking ahead, uh, another big road trip coming up. Uh, talk about what the Cats uh, 
we'll face on the road. Yeah, you know, these road trips are a lot of fun for the guys and for the team, for the coaches, and we learn a lot about each other, and uh, we look forward to it. We're going to go to Ohio and play good, two good teams up there in Ohio State's tournament. It's also an awesome homecoming for both Peter Paris and Brian Magoo. Both are from the Columbus, Ohio area. We also have two other players from Ohio, uh, Max Raymond and Luke Blades. So I'm excited to get uh, back in Ohio for those guys and for their families, and it'll be a lot of fun to go play some out-of-region teams. All right, thank you very much.